Welcome to the Flock dashboard training session. Upon entering the web address of flock.com, we're going to sign in and enter your logins. And there we land on the home page where the settings will be here. Anytime you need to change business information or enter banking information, that will be put in in this area here. Does the merchant have an email list? Those will be added here. And then here is the look of the app on a mobile device. The punch card will animate and what the customer does is swipe the punch card from left to right. This activates the camera on the phone and they hold up their uh, camera to the QR code to receive their punch. Below that will be all the rewards the customer has earned. And what the merchant does is tap on that reward on the customer's phone and redeem it until it is marked used. If the merchant has a very regular customer, what that customer can do is add the merchant's icon right to their home screen, which is a very nice feature. Okay, let's get started. Um, all the navigating is done in this gray area here. Let's start on your app and we'll go to the punch card. The punch card um, can be edited at any time. The number of punches can be chosen also. Anytime any edits are done, you want to make sure you save. About your business is um, appears on the uh, Flock app, and so you would want to tell people about your business. Below that are the hours of operation. If you have a website, you can copy and paste your URL address here. Below are all the social sites, which we encourage the merchant to join. They are free, which gives you more social exposure. And as you can see, what we do is just copy and paste the URL addresses once again. In design, the merchant can choose what his or her icon will look like, uh, the color of the app, and a little background photo. It's as simple as editing and saving. The gallery is a place where the merchant or their customers can add photos. This will appear right at the bottom of the app on a mobile device. Also, the app does create a web page just pulling the information that has been entered into the uh, Merchants Loyalty app. Uh, as you can see, it will give a Google address, hours of operation, and all the rewards the merchant is offering. The Beacon. The Beacon is a Bluetooth device. We just suggest that you keep it behind a counter. Type in a greeting and your customers will receive that greeting upon walking in the door. Let's continue to your club and onto the customers page. This is where all the merchants members are housed. If you wish to view a certain member, you would double click on their name, a window appears where you can see their activity, rewards that they have earned, and redeem. If you wish to send them a personal reward, you may do so. You may send a chat and, as a courtesy, add punches to their card. Also is a area where you can check an individual or check all customers and send them a message or reward. 
analytics shows what the app is actually doing for your business. It will show the progress of new customers and recurring customers. On to rewards and your rewards. This is where all the rewards are housed. There are many rewards. Pick and choose which ones the, you would like to do um, to add them. You just click the blue button. If you wish to edit them, there will be a little gear at the top right of the window where you can edit your rewards at any time. Club Card is a tiered level loyalty system within the app. When you do set this up, please keep in mind that when customers reach these levels, they will get that reward at all times. Packages are uh, purchased in advance by the customers. These are great for salons. Example, a cut color and facial normally would cost this much. Now you're offering it for a discounted price. What the customer will do is tap on that package, enter his or her credit card information, and the money goes into the bank account that the merchant has entered into the settings. Let's move on to Conversation Manager. The new feature on the Flock app is a chat box. This chat box pulls the basic information that was entered into the app. And what this does is allows the customers to ask the chat bot questions and he will answer for them. Uh, these can be previewed and edited. And if the merchant feels he or she would like to add more custom questions and replies, they may do so and they can add up to 10. Campaigns, this is great for specials. It is a one-time a message or reward, but this can be sent out however often the merchant would like. These can be sent out daily, these can be sent out weekly. For example, come on in on Father's Day and get $5 off. Or every Thursday is wing night. Cruise control is um, all the push notifications that go out. These can be previewed and edited if needed. There's also an on-off switch. These can be turned on or off. Let's move on to emails where the merchant can send out an email blast from the list that he's uploaded. There are automated emails that go out that can be previewed. Those can also be turned off or on. And there's a lot of marketing emails that go out that can be previewed and also turned off or on. On to growth. Uh, carrots are a a la carte cost and what those do is um, reach out to flock people who are not members of the Merchants Club. Go social. This is where the merchant can connect their Facebook or Twitter account to the app. Once they do that, these features will all unlock where they can preview and edit them and also turn those off or on. Promote is a place where um, if the merchant needs some marketing materials, they may do so um, in this area here. And there you have it. Thank you for joining the training of the Flock Dashboard.